may have seemed like a good idea at the time, but recently the man who invented the 401k said his creation has now turned into a monster. Company. He believes a monster, yes. <laughs> All right. He believes 401k choices are too complicated. That Congress should overhaul the system uh, before it turns uh, off many people and uh, hurts many people's investments. Until that happens, personal finance expert Carmen Wong Ulrich is here to help you tame the 401k. The beast. The, mo the beast. Yes, indeed. Um, what, so what is it these days? Is, is, is it that people just are, are too busy to pay attention to it? They just put things in autopilot and assume that the plan will run itself? That's a lot of it. And, and a lot of the criticism that Ted Bennett has of his creation, which, by the way, he's a hero to many for enabling us mm -hmm. to basically save when we don't have pensions. Here's the thing. He says his first big complaint is it's just way too complicated. When he did the, built the 401k, there were maybe three choices. Now, how many choices do we have? We have dozens. Some of us are lucky enough to have dozens. So here's what you need to do, because until things change, you have to be in the driver's seat for this. Educate yourself. Make sure that you meet, schedule a meeting with a plan administrator, because since 2008, more companies are allowing you to have free sit-downs with plan administrators and advisors so they can talk to you about your 401k, make sure that you reset, research your asset allocation. Where exactly is your money? Where is it placed? Morningstar.com, go into the search box there and put in portfolio x-ray. They have a really useful free x-ray mm. that shows you where you stand in terms of risk. Also, compare your 401k to others in terms of fees. Know your alternatives. Go to brightstar.com for also a free assessment of where your 401k plan, your company's plan, lands in relation to other plans. You may be loaded with fees. You may not have very many choices. And if that's the case, then you want to go up to the company match in terms of contributions, but put your money all elsewhere in a traditional IRA or in a Roth IRA so you don't get slammed with so many fees. It's a balancing act here, though. I mean, because some people may not pay attention at all. Others, you can then rejigger your your, your, sure. your plans too much and then hurt yourself with fees and everything else. And, and what uh, Mr. Ben is saying, that that actually turns people away from contributing at all because they right. feel overwhelmed. Well, here's the thing. Understand the one important, incredible basic got a lot of free money there. Here's the first type of free money. When you earn 100 bucks, 100 bucks goes into your 401k. This yeah. is pre-tax contributions, not $70 you see mm -hmm. in your paycheck. So that's extra money you can use for retirement. Also, your company match. If you have that company match and you're lucky enough to still have that, go for it because that can add another big percentage to your salary. That's free money that you're turning down. So make sure you use it. Free money, tax-free money. Any yeah. chance that 401ks change, by the way, anytime? Like he's Probably saying. not. So here's the thing. Again, stay on it. Avoid putting too much in company stock. At three to five percent, maybe. Max. Make sure if you want, you're too confused. Go meet with a, a financial advisor, even for an hour, to make sure you're on the right track. Carmen, always good to have you here. All Thank right. you. Thanks, guys.